This is our room and it is so pretty. It looks like a little cottage. First night, success. <laughs> This is our little balcony. Look how beautiful it is. Feels like we're not in LA. Or, well, we're not in LA. <laughs> I meant to say, it feels like we're out of California. So we just got to the town. It is so cute, but everything is closed. But we did find this cute little park. So we're just gonna walk around here and then head back so we can have breakfast with my parents and get ready for wine tasting. These are have not been picked, but they are like blueberry size. All right, we made it to the second location and this is where we're having lunch. Make yourselves comfortable. If you need to wash uh, first door on the left inside. Okay, I highly recommend this place. It is seriously so cute and the service is incredible. Way better than the last last place, I would say. The food just looks amazing. This wasn't meant to be a private lunch, but since it's Monday, no one's here and it's just us and it feels so private and beautiful. It looks like we're in just a backyard, someone's backyard, which I guess it kind of is. 14 to... This is my kind of wine tasting, you know? Cheers. Cheers. Day two of wine tasting and today I'm actually going to be super cozy and comfortable. I always feel like there's... Oh my god, what just happened? I literally just got these shorts. Today we're doing like a little picnic so I want it to be super cozy and comfy. My parents leave today so we're trying to do as much as we can before they head out. It's a six hour drive back though so we're trying to do something more low key uh, and close to the hotel. Hello. Vanilla slightly on the sweet side. All right, lots of wine and champagne, except for Rafi because he's driving. So we lost my dad because clearly we're all drinking. My dad wasn't drinking, so he found us very annoying. So he went down to the car to take a nap. Ooh, I'm so drunk, you guys. I had like five glasses. Five. making Armenian coffee here in this little teapot. My dad said I put too much. Why do you want to go back? Dad is not drinking today. My parents left and it's just KB and I. We're gonna go down to the town because we've had dinner at our hotel for two nights in a row and I think we're ready to try something different. I saw candles from this from the outside and we had to stop by because you know me and my candle obsession. So I'm getting this. I'm getting this little cute bowl. I'm getting two for breakfast because we love our oatmeal. And this is like a little decorative piece for the coffee table. Apparently this is the most uh, famous dish that they have on their menu. It's this white fish with potatoes. Did we really need this? Going in. Yeah. I have lots of footage of you putting food in your mouth. We just got to another winery. I feel like I'm so done drinking wine because it's been three or four days. But once you sit down and they bring the wine, you're like, all right, I'm back. But this place is called Alpha Omega and it was highly recommended by our hotel. So we're excited to check it out. This was me last night. Trying to stay awake for the elections. <laughs> <laughs> so since the last winery didn't have any food, literally they just gave us like four crackers, we are starving and we found this place called Farmstead, oh, which true. is really, really close to the um, winery that we were just in. And we're here to have some lunch, late lunch, and we're starving and I'm definitely tipsy. The last place was, the wine was just absolutely delicious. So I feel like I drank a lot and I'm ready for some food in my belly. Perfect, thank you so much. We just finished lunch at Farmstead and I highly recommend the ribs and the biscuits and like something light on the side. So good, highly recommend it. I guess they're famous for their ribs. We kind of just did a little family style meal. It was delicious.
So this place is cool because you can do wine and food pairings and this looks delish. The same style, it's just a little bit richer in my opinion. What's your favorite so far? If you're looking for a wine set you can pair with food, this is a great place to come because they have a three course or a five course. It's a very chill atmosphere, great wine, great food. So of all the places we've been to, I feel like this is definitely one of my favorites. The food was delicious, the wine was delicious. Yeah, you're right. It's more of like a local, um, smaller winery, which I really appreciate. It's not like commercialized or anything. I realized, because this is our first time here, I realized that I don't love the commercialized feel. All of the smaller boutique kind of family owned uh, wineries were so much better. The experience was better, the wine was better. This is one of those wineries that just has the most amazing wine and the most amazing food. So I highly recommend it. Made it to our second hotel and so far, I think I like this one a little more. Double sink. And a huge tub. This hotel is called uh. Villaggio. A fireplace, my favorite part is the bathroom. It is so big and the tub is beautiful. This is considered Yountville Town. So it's a little town with all the um, great restaurants, lots of Michelin star restaurants here. French Laundry, I believe Bouchon is also a Michelin star. I'm not 100% sure about that one, but we are going to that restaurant tonight for dinner. We're doing an early dinner. Um, the only thing is in Napa Valley, they just got approved to seat people indoors and I'm still not quite comfortable with that. So we're gonna see if we can get an outdoor seating. If not, we're probably gonna change restaurants. We shall see. So it is a Michelin star restaurant. It has one star and French Laundry has three stars, but that's like impossible to get reservations there. And I was just told that the secret is to make reservations for four people and go with four people because it's a little bit easier than if you want to make reservations for two people. We got the salmon tartare and it comes with eggs on the side. Stop playing around. We just finished getting ready and we're on our way to have lunch at the Auberge de what? De Soleil. De Soleil Hotel. I'm so excited for this place because I hear such good things about it. Apparently it's one of the most beautiful hotels here and the views are supposed to be spectacular. So we're on our way there and I did take my time with my makeup today because I definitely want to take some photos. And today for some reason it's much cooler than all of the other days we've been here. So I have this big jacket on but underneath it I've got a cute outfit on. wine tasting of our trip and we chose all winery because it was actually really close to where we were having lunch Good morning from Yonville we just got our coffees and we decided to walk the neighborhoods because it is just absolutely gorgeous this is behind the neighborhoods and it looks like there is a winery or something we're just walking towards it to see what it is but how beautiful I can't tell you how clean the neighborhoods are. Everyone's just so nice. Like literally everyone that walks by you says hello. Um, you just feel so welcomed. I feel like a lot of a lot of places when it becomes too touristy, locals don't love that. And I've, and I've sensed that before from other places, but you don't get that here at all. Everyone's just so nice. And the cool part is that the neighborhoods are right behind the hotel. So you can actually explore with your coffee, which is what we did today. I already finished mine, but now we're going to have breakfast. stop to get gas and then we're gonna head back to LA but um, I didn't take my camera with me yesterday because we kind of just stayed in town and wanted to explore even more so after walking around the neighborhoods um, we just chilled pretty much all day as we're heading back now I wanted to kind of recap the trip and kind of give my overall thoughts 
Um, we stayed in Sonoma and in Napa Valley and I think I definitely recommend both because the vibe is completely different. Sonoma is more chill and it's more laid back. Napa is more of a scene because they have like some of the best restaurants. Um, they have Yachtville, the town that we stayed in, which was just so beautiful. And all you want to do is just walk up and down that street where all the hotels and restaurants are because it's just absolutely gorgeous. So Sonoma is a little bit more relaxing and laid back. Like there's nothing much to see they have a small little town you can go to but again it's not like a scene or anything so it's definitely much more on the relaxing side and napa is a lot more there's a lot more happening there are still so many wineries that we didn't go to and you know towards the end of the trip we learned so much more about all of these different wineries that we should visit next time so um, I'm gonna have a list of all of the ones that were recommended by locals in the description box and um, these are the ones that we didn't get to visit I'll include all of the ones that we visited but I will say that the overall theme was that we preferred more boutique kind of smaller vineyards more than the commercialized larger ones um, and I think I talked about that throughout the vlog but um, I don't think I mentioned my parents were here visiting us for two nights which was super fun and we went to three wineries with them and they they also really enjoyed the smaller wineries more there you have it folks that concludes this Napa Valley Sonoma vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this trip with us and we will see you next time. Bye!